Hi everyone, welcome to Isle 2 Stormovic. I thought I'd show you a little bit of my recordings when I'm practicing with the Spitfire. I thought I'd take the Spitfire up and I'd set up a scenario with Heinkel Bombers and 109 Escorts to see how we got on. And I thought I'd bring them to you because I thought they were quite interesting, my findings. Uh, we've got the 20mm cannons on the Spitfire but also the 303, so we go in with our first Heinkel attack. Uh, not particularly good. I'm just trying to learn the characteristics and how to fly this. She flies differently to the uh, Spitfires in Cliffs of Dover. She's far more um, temperamental, actually. What do we have there? We got a. Uh, I think that's a Spitfire. What we'll do? We'll go back and con try and concentrate on the bombers for the beginning and see um, what kind of havoc we can wreak with these cannons. So it's all about learning how to fly the Spitfire. This is, you know. We, I, I've got a bit of experience now at the P40, and that is an incredibly stable gun platform. But it's um, it's slightly different when you come to the Spitfire. She is a little bit more skitzy. Yeah, she's a uh, very more more of a thoroughbred and uh, far more temperamental when it comes to flying. Right, this is a terrible attack angle, but we're going to go for this bomber here. See what we can do. Oh, taking a few strikes from the the gunners. There we go, that's a bit better. Good hits with the cannon there. Getting a bit of attention from the gunners, but that's her in serious damage, and uh, she's dropped her bomb, so that bomb is no longer a threat. Oh, I've stalled, and uh, I'm desperately trying to pull up now. There we go. Okay, so it's quite easy to stall this aircraft, I'm noticing. So we're just trying to fly level and get a bit of speed up. Catch back up with the rest of the bombers. Now the Heinkels, tough old birds, we absolutely Filling this one full of holes, you can see I, I'm smoking a little bit from the damage I took uh, to my radiators from the um, the gunners on the uh, the previous bombers. But we're going to continue to uh, harass this Heinkel until then. I stall again at low altitude. I almost rescue it, but a rookie mistake. I bury it into the ground. But I'm not alone, as my fellow Spitfire pilots continue to attack this Heinkel which is in all sorts of problems. Air gunners are bravely fighting on. Uh, as I say, these, these Heinkels are really soaking up the damage. Uh, we, we see more Spitfire strafing runs. But even as the Heinkel is desperately trying to do an emergency landing on the on the runway, the Spitfires continue to harass, and even the AI sometimes get it wrong. Okay, second time around, I thought, let's see if we can have a bit of action with the, the 109 Escort. See if we can um, get one of those out of the way. See the, sh the wisps of the uh, gunfire from the uh, defensive bomb, uh, bomber formation. Peppering with 303 at the moment. Let's try and save the cannon rounds till we get a little bit closer. I want to see how we can uh, maneuver against the 109 in this bit far. She's going high. Hoping for a bit of uh, luck there with the uh, blind shooting of the cannons, but no joy. So as we go over, we're heading back down to the ground. 
Oh, she tries to stall for me as well and uh, managed to wrestle her back. Flat the engine and we're away. Got some more bombers and dogfighting going on over there. But we're going to concentrate on this one and let our wingmen take out the bombers this time. Good hits for the cannon. She's still going. No real damage done. Pepper again with the uh, 303s and uh, not much to speak about. Uh, but one thing we do notice is that we cannot catch her. She is much quicker than the uh, Spit. So we've got a 109 with a smoking engine now and um, it probably looks like a radiator is going to be overheating soon. But again, um, even in this damaged state we are still quite uh, quite similar performance which is you know, disappointing when you've got a fully functional aircraft. <laughs> you know, it's a bit of a kick in the old gut. But um, yeah, she's going away. Keep an eye out to make sure her we men on dropping onto our tail. I say her. I mean his. Obviously her as in the aircraft. Going back into the climb. She's rolling out and let's see if we can stop our roll and get Vila down to the ground. There we go. A couple of strikes on the wing. So, you know, it should be advantage us here, um, but I'm still I'm, I'm struggling wrestling with the aircraft. I haven't managed to trim her out very well at all. And we get even closer later on, and I'm hopeless with the, mission, uh, with the cannons. And then she does something where she just spirals away, and like a rookie that I am in the Spitfire, I try and roll with her. And what happens? I stall. Rookie mistake. Right. Just about to get her back uh, when the ground catches up to me. Right, this time I mean business. Sod the fighters are mobilists in there. We're going to stick with the bombers and let's see if we can shred these babies up. So we're going to use the 303s to try and fix on it, then use the cannons. There we go. Good hit straight away. First bomber jets into bombs. She's out of the fight. We'll let her go. Hopefully she'll crash. Give us a good score. Again, tough old duck this one. Engine just about to pack up. Pilot still manages to bring her home. You know, this is quite a resilient little bomber in this game. A bit of a bounce as the engine cuts out on the final. That's quite scary, but uh, he handled it well. Doing the old Polish fighter tactic of trying to go straight for them and split them up. Um, and they get in a bit of a pickle and then roll over a bit tight, but um, managed to keep control nicely. Right, um, nothing on our tail, it's all clear, so let's um, gain a little bit of altitude and come in on the rear of the bombers. You can see we've got the uh, other Spitfires causing a bit of havoc in there as well. Good to see. Right. This is the one we're going to target. She's a little bit isolated from the rest. The gunner's already spotted us. But we'll stay a bit low at awkward angles and hopefully she 
we won't be able to get um, too much of a lock on it. Coming back into formation, trying to sort ourselves out. Wasting a bit of ammo here. There we go, got a hit on that. Whoa, and open up with the cannons. Okay, two bombers down. Let's come in for the third before they can get to the target. Good hits, good hits. Struck by debris and a bit of uh, gunner fire there. Okay, you can see one of our buddies is getting harassed by the uh, 109s, um, I'm a little bit out of the way, so... oh it's just broken away from him. Okay, he's got the second one on him. Oh, he's lost the wing. He's lost the wing. Bail out, buddy. Bail out. Okay, back onto the bomber. Got the range. Any cannons left? Yes. That's that engine number one is out of there. She's streaking towards the ground. Lovely. All in all, much better that time. We managed to clear the majority of the bomber force out of the way. I think that's just a Spitfire coming to join formation. The 109s are probably bugged out now used up most of their ammo. Most of the bombs have gone so they're probably uh, heading home. Calling it a day. Um, so a little bit of overheating and my engine was um, starting to get cooked so I thought I'd do an emergency landing. See how this went. You, I First mistake I dropped my undercarriage at too high a speed and that's why I've lost the fairings from them. But coming in She's very gentle. She can just hold her there. And we did not a bad emergency landing. Back on the stick to try and keep the tail down. But all in all, not bad on a rough old snowy field.
Good stuff. Right, we'll leave it there. That's been my first experience in the Spitfire. I might do some more and I'll bring it your way. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.